tens of thousands of drag racing fans jammed into Royal Purple Raceway for the sixth event on the 24 Race at HRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series. At the end of the day, it was one of Houston's hometown racers who inched drag racing closer to history. Erica Ender Stevens, who grew up in the Houston area, scored female win number 99 by stopping friendly rival Alan Johnson in the Pro Stock Final. Erica used a better reaction time to hold off the past NHRA champion and win with a 659 to 658 margin. The victory marked her eighth career win and second at her home track. This is huge. This is uh, almost as good as Indy or the championship to me, and I couldn't be more proud of my guys, I'll tell you that right now. We were thrashing back in the pits. I was pulling up there, still hooking my Hans device, taking my scoop plug out, moving weight. They never give up until the last minute. We almost didn't make the call. Hats off to Brutus, and big thank you for his team for waiting on me, because they didn't have to. We're waiting on weather, but praise God. Give him all the glory. My dad's finally here for my first win, my mom, my whole family, my in-laws. So. This is as big as it gets for me, and I couldn't be more proud. Thank you, Elite Motorsports, Royal Purple, Mark Stock, Seth, Engines, Inc., all the people that make this possible, and the Brunos. Love y'all. Thank you. A red-hot Robert Hyde continued his strong run of success by scoring his third win of the season after reaching the final round five consecutive times. The victory enabled Hyde to extend his point lead to 122 points over teammate John Force. This marked Hyde's second win at Royal Purple Raceway. Oh, I don't want this wave to stop, Gary. It, it's unbelievable. And, you know, I've been trying to find my way back to the winner's circle here for a long time to get back here for AAA of Texas. But i got to let you know what kind of people we have around us. All of those teams back there in the pits, Traxxas, Castro, all of them are up here trying to get us to the winner's circle. We also have our clutch guy this weekend who his grandfather passed away. I told him, he said, Tom, you need to go and, and be with your family. He said, no, my, grandma would, my grandpa would have wanted me here. So that's the kind of people we would surround ourselves with. Yes! Woo! Equally hot is Antron Brown, who in defeating Khalid Abalushi scored his third 2014 victory and second in a row. Brown used a quicker reaction time and a 379-3 to secure the victory. The victory vaulted Brown into the top fuel point lead, and this win comes at the same place where Brown won his very first national event. I remember going way back, back in 2008 with David Powers, and Lord knows it was a blessing to do my first top fuel win here. And to get it again, back here at Houston, this track's been great to us, brother, and uh, we love it. For Mikhail Andrews, is my little angel up there, little boy that died in a car accident. I'll never forget when I was here and he brought me a picture and a really good dude. That race is dedicated to him. And uh, all the glory goes to God, man, and my team, my Mac Hope boys. How about that? Brian Karate, Mark Oswald. The Pro Modified Division eliminated down to a pair of New York-based teams. Upstate New Yorker Mike Janis beat New York City's Mike Costellana with a nitrous racer red-lighted. Top alcohol funny car racer Shane Westerfield continued his mastery of the Texas Eddingtary National Events as he overcame a day of oddities to stop Annie Whiteley. Westerfield won with a 6.31 elapsed time in a race. He initially lifted and then got back on the throttle when Whiteley had issues. Randy Meyer scored his fifth career top alcohol dragster national event victory by repeating as Spring Nationals champion. Meyer still won despite losing traction in his race against Mark Tolliver, whose last win was in Denver 97. This was the 10th career final for Meyer. Clark Smiley's BB altered Pontiac ran strong in the competition eliminator final by beating Alan Ellis, whose roadster got out of shape early. Superstock racer Dale Hallquist scored his first national event victory by taking down past NHRA champion Larry Stewart in a race that was declared with less than 10 thousandths of a second margin of victory. Reigning NHRA Division IV stock champ Jacob Pitt was the big winner in stock by winning an old versus new muscle car battle over Brett Candice. Pitt ceased off automatic Mopar, won the double breakout match. In the Supercom final, Austin Williams used a quicker reaction time to win his sixth career event over Brandon Moton, 892 to an 891. Supergas racer Steve Collier also used his starting line advantage over Rustin Mays to secure his first national event crown. Rounding out the Lucas Oil Sportsman divisions, Alan Constantine was just 008 off his dial to beat Wade Pennington for the top dragster crown. The 24-race NHRA Mellow Yellow Tour returns in two weeks to Atlanta Dragway in Commerce, Georgia for the NHRA Summit Southern Nationals. CompetitionPlus.com for all the latest news and make sure to like us on Facebook. Kathy Fisher, CompetitionPlus.tv.